Hey, I'm Yogi Don, your octogenarian yogi. When I began yoga in 1996, I was 57 years old and stiff as a board. I could hardly reach below my knees. In these videos, I'll share what I've learned over the years about yoga's ethics, its philosophy, its poses, its breath work, and meditation. I hope you'll subscribe and share these videos. May we be protected together, may we be nourished together, may we create strength together, may our work together bring fulfillment, and may there be no disharmonies among us. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Yogi Donaldo, your octogenarian yogi. And uh, today we're going to do some work on getting up and down from chairs and uh, elevated surfaces. At the end of this video are exercise sheets. When you get there, please pause to take a screenshot of each, then print for reference when doing these exercises. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, what I want to do is uh, introduce you to getting up and down from an elevated surface. The higher the surface is, the easier it is for you to get up and down from it. That's why I want to use this bench here, uh, because it's a little lower than a normal chair. So we'll, we're going to start off with uh, this chair built up a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. <clears throat> okay, so on this elevated surface, um, with my hips above my knees, it's a little easier for me to get up and down from this position because I don't have that far to go. So what I want to do is bring my feet back, tuck them back so they're a little bit behind my knees. Then I'm going to lean forward, shifting my weight over my feet. And with my hips and knees flexed and also my ankles a bit flexed, I just bring my seat up off the chair and come to standing. And then let's reverse that. And I want to show you from a side view here, we're doing this rather than this. Because what this does is puts all of our weight out in front and makes it more likely that we're going to fall. So if we come down this way, we're keeping our center of gravity over our feet. My butt's coming back, my upper body is coming forward. And if I were going to be sitting down, I'm bringing my, my rear closer to the surface that it's going to be landing on. If I just bend forward, I haven't brought my butt any closer to the surface that it's going to be coming to. So we want to remember that. <clears throat> keeping our weight over our feet by pressing our butt back, our upper body forward. And we can support ourselves on our, with our hands on our legs if we need to. Okay. All right. And there I am. Now, if you need additional uh, help to get up, you might also think about leaning forward with your arms extended out because that adds a little bit more weight forward and helps to bring you up off of the chair a little easier. So. Now, once you practice at this level, we can take this off and come down a bit. So <clears throat> we still have an angle with our thighs, our hips are still above our knees, and we just lean forward, bring our body forward, flexing our ankles, bringing our weight over our feet, and then come up. Again, for that counterweight, 
makes it much easier to come up and also to go down. Shifting the weight into my feet, I come up. Now, when I can comfortably get up and down from that height, I take a blanket out and try it at the next level. You can also use your hands on the uh, chair seat to help guide you back up and down. Flexing, weight over the feet, and I come up. When I can comfortably do it at that level, I move to the next. And this is also good strengthening the legs. So this is a really good exercise to practice because it gives you skill at coming to a comfortable sitting without that last little bit of drop like I see so many times sort of drop that last inch or so. All right, again, and we'll take another blanket off. And when we're comfortable at that height, we lower again until we're finally down to the chair level. I want to do it from the side. And we don't have a lot of room here to get a good uh, image, but uh, we'll do the best we can. Now, if you notice, my knees and my upper body are forward of my feet. My butt is back behind my feet. So that has weight distributed over the feet it makes it much easier to come up and less likely to fall. Okay. With some practice, you should be able to move up and down very comfortably. And uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of practice before you do begin to feel like your legs are strengthening. So, Go for it. We'll set that chair aside and we won't be using the blankets again. <clears throat> All right, the next thing I want to demonstrate is how to get up and down from a surface that's lower than your regular chair seat. A lot of toilets are lower. Um, I know there are a number of toilets that have, are. Uh, raised up so it makes it a little easier to get up and down from them, but uh, there's an awful lot of toilets that are low and it's a little difficult to get down to. But anyway, we're working with this bench here, and what we're going to do is we'll begin standing next to it with this leg and foot planted close by that surface, the bench, the toilet, whatever it is, and then we just begin again keeping our weight over our feet, flexing our hips, our knees, our ankles, bringing the hand down to the surface, and then just simply spiraling around. Now, we need to get up. And I'm going to mix these uh, demonstrations. I'm going to use the demonstration to get up 
rather than going back through and doing the, uh, the, the getting down part. I'd like to do that several times in a row, but I want to also demonstrate how the proper way to get up. So we do that by extending our arm out to the side, turn and look at the hand, and then as we bring that hand across our body, and plant it down on the surface, my eyes followed around and down, I come up, spin around, soft knees, and come up. Okay, going down, foot next to the, uh, the bench, soften the knees, lower the body down, weight in, uh, in front of and behind the feet, plant my hand down here on the surface, and then Getting up, okay, let's do that several more times, foot next to the bench, Coming up. Okay, and going down again. So just bring, you could bring this hand around, but I'm just going to bring this one down for support. Ease down. I want you to notice as I come down that the motion, the movement of coming down lowers my butt closer to the surface that it's going to land on. So, steadying myself, softening the knees, getting my butt down, flexing the ankles, the knees, the hips, and I just pivot around and come down. Okay, I hope you'll try that several times until you're really comfortable in moving up and down. Okay, that's getting up and down from a bench. All right. The next thing I would like to demonstrate is, and I hope we'll be able to see enough of my feet, but getting up and down to the floor using a chair for support. Actually, we could probably just as well use this other bench, other part of the bench over here. So that's what we'll do. <clears throat> Now, some of us have problems with our knees, and uh, so I'm going to fold this blanket as a cushion for my knee when I come down, and uh, I'm recommending that uh, you do that too, unless you're coming down onto a carpet that's soft, but if you have any problems, any issues with your knees on hard surfaces, uh, you might want to use uh, some sort of a cushion to bring your knees down to. All right, we begin standing facing our chair or whatever surface this is we're going to use to help us get down. So again we begin bending our knees bringing ourselves down hands to the surface and then our knees back and the other knee back. We're down to a kneeling position and now we can turn sideways this leg out like this so that we can come on down. And this is a little uncomfortable for me with this underneath me here. 
All right. So here we are down on the floor, ready to do whatever it is we came down to do. Play with the grandchildren, uh, play with the dog, the cat, whatever. Or maybe to pick up something that you've dropped. Now, when we're ready to get up, we need to reverse that. And with this, let's suppose that we're sitting on the floor with our legs extended. When we're ready to get up, we want to bring one foot outside the other leg and then put that knee back. We're going to roll forward or sideways and come to a knee. Hands come to the chair. And now you can bring this other foot in alongside, press down into the bench, and come up. All right, let's do that again. First we come to kneeling. From a comfortable kneeling position, I'm going to bring my arm to the chair or the bench surface, whatever it is, and begin sliding my legs out and just ease the hip down. And maybe this is a little too uh, much of a flexion in the knees. That might not work for everyone. When we're finally down, there we are. Extend those legs out, however we're going to sit, do whatever we came down to do. When we're ready to get up, bring the one leg across, tuck the other one back. That helps to roll us on to, toward this side. Hand steadies ourself on the floor, other hand to the bench or chair. Scoot that knee underneath the hip. Bring this foot back in so that it's lined up a little better. Vertical in the shin. The thigh is coming straight out at a right angle. And come on up. Let's do that one more time. Okay, here we are, down on the floor. Gonna come up, reverse it. And there we are. So, I hope you'll try all three of these exercises, the getting up from the height, using a uh, bench to get down to, or getting down to a low surface, as well as getting down to the chair, and using a chair or another surface to help us get up and down from the floor. And in a later video, I'll demonstrate getting up and down from the floor without the assistance of anything else. All right, so let's come back to where we began. May our bodies be strong, relaxed, and healthy. May our minds be calm, clear, and serene. May our hearts be filled with loving kindness, and may we live our lives in harmony with our true inner selves. May we be friendly toward the joyful, compassionate toward the suffering. May we celebrate the good in others and remain impartial to their faults and imperfections. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And I'll look forward to seeing you the next time. I hope you'll subscribe and share these videos.